Hey there, you're watching Dirt Bike Channel. I'm your host Kyle Brotherson and today we're gonna be looking at this Carbon Up Armor clutch cover. These things are supposed to be pretty much indestructible, undestructible. You can't, you can't destruct it. <laughs> Stick around. Oh, I needed this so bad. Guys, I needed this so freaking bad. Okay, so all joking aside, as I stumble over my words, I'm, as you guys know, I'm not a huge aftermarket parts guy. I don't put a lot of things on my bike, but recently I've been showing you some of the things I've been doing to get this bike ready to ride. And I've never put an aftermarket clutch cover on my bike before, but I've been on two different, I've seen two different scenarios where buddies of mine have punched holes in their clutch cover down here and all the oil leaked out. Now, we were okay because they were on two strokes, so we were able to ride out. But if you're on a four stroke, it's gonna, you're, you're gonna ruin your motor. You cannot ride out. Um, and so I wanted to test this, test these guys out because I think this might solve a problem that I've seen happen twice out on the trail. Now, whether or not it's gonna happen to you, you, you know, you might be able to ride all your life without, without breaking a hole in your clutch cover, but it does happen. And the time that I've seen it, I mean, these, these um, and I'll roll in some footage down here, these, these AXP skid plates actually give a quite a bit of protection there. As, as rocks might come up into that. But what I've seen is when the brake lever just gets, you, you slam down into a rock or something or onto a root or an outcropping and the brake lever gets jammed right up through the clutch cover. Well, with these carbon up armor uh, clutch covers, that is not going to happen. These things are bulletproof. They're tough as nails. You might've seen some of the videos online of people pounding on, the, on these things with sledgehammers. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna show the installation of this on to this bike. Let's get into it. Okay, so it's very important to put these sleeve to prep our uh, prep our clutch cover by putting these sleeves in into the clutch cover. Uh, there's the, so they give you these these different uh, little sleeves and then the sleeve insertion tool. And these are kind of some of these are hard to um, you have to push. At least these ones are you have to push pretty hard to get them down in. And by deep by design, this tool put leaves about a, an eighth of an inch or so maybe a little bit more than an eighth of an inch up on that. And you're not supposed to push that down flush. So I'll get this one in. Sorry. There we go. Now that we've got that down, we're going to line up our gasket. Just make sure it's clean. Doesn't have any dust on it. We're going to line up our gasket and we're going to basically put our gasket right up over, um, over those sleeves. You don't want the gasket to be pinched by the sleeves and you don't want to push those sleeves down onto the cover any, um, any further than what they do with the alignment, with the uh, insertion tool here. According to the carbon up guys, if you don't do this, this uh, procedure properly, it is definitely going to leak. So you want to make sure that you take your time. Make sure that these are down perfectly and you're not pinched at all with that gasket. And now we're ready to take this over to the bike and install it. Okay, in order to do this, I needed to get my, my uh, brake lever all the way out of the way. So I just took some vice grips here and pulled my spring off. And then I took this one bolt out of the back of this, out of my brake, and then that can swivel all the way out of the way. And then obviously I've laid my bike over onto its side uh, so that I don't hopefully have an impromptu gear oil change here. Um, we'll find out if that's the case in just a moment. So I'm going to take these bolts out. Now, something to note here is that um, in 2019, this is a 2019 bike. In 2019, KTM changed a little bit on these, these uh, clutch covers. And they've made it so that this one bolt down here, I think, yeah, it's this bolt. This bolt is going to need to be, I'm going to need to get a shorter bolt to put through into this, uh, into my carbon up armor uh, plate. So by the time you're watching this video, they may have already solved that problem and, and given you a bolt that is, is going to be used in that one hole there. Uh, because if I go ahead and try to use this stock bolt, um, it's going to end up being too long. This stock bolt right here in this hole is going to end up being too long for, for my new cover. So just keep, keep that in mind um, when you go to do this on yours. OK, 
Okay. I'm going to do that. Let's make sure that we haven't dropped off of our gasket here, or our gasket hasn't been dropped off at all, which it looks good. Okay. Wipe off this little bit of oil here. And then I will carefully put that down on, just like so. And then I'm going to start putting some of these bolts in. Some of these bolts um, are load load bearing bolts. Some of them are not. Like these ones over here are not. So I'll start those in. Like that. And then this is my one I'm gonna need a little bit shorter. I'm not gonna torque these down, I'm just starting them. Okay, now I'm just gonna go around all of them and cinch them down a little bit more. I like to do this type of thing in a star pattern. That's just how my dad taught me to do things. So you torque things down evenly. Even though we're not torquing this yet, we will in just a moment. Okay, now I'm going around and I'm torquing everything down to uh, the KTM factory spec, which is about six, six foot pounds on these guys. Well, that was pretty easy. All we had to do was set the bike back up, make sure it's not leaking, and then swap our oil cap from one cover over to the other. And it is not leaking. I don't anticipate having any leaks. Obviously, I put my, um, I put my spring back on uh, for my brake pedal and put the bolt back in here so the brake is back to being installed. Another thing I was curious about is if this was going to have an increased oil capacity, thereby dropping my overall oil level. So I pulled out my oil level check bolt or check screw down here to see if the oil was still up to par, and it was. I still had oil right up at that check level. So um, I, don't, I don't think that this gives you extra oil capacity because if it did, more oil would you know, settle down in this and I wouldn't have enough oil at that bolt. I did have oil at that bolt, so I should be good to go. Um, that's it, guys. That's the installation of this thing. I think it's going to be, a, well, I know, it's a lot, I know it's a lot stronger from some of the videos that I've seen. Uh, this thing, it should be pretty much indestructible, and hopefully I don't ever have any problems with that, and I can take it to the next bike. The one question that I have is how long is that gasket going to last if you have to swap it? I don't know. It's a rubber gasket. Um, that's, only, that's something that the Carbon Up guys could, could tell us. So I'm gonna go out there and, and ride this. I'm pretty excited about this particular product. If you want to support Dirt Bike Channel, what you can do is you can go over to patreon.com forward slash Dirt Bike Channel. You can make monthly tips uh, over there. You can also use the, the, uh, the links for parts down in the video description, whether you're using Rocky Mountain ATV or Motorsport or Amazon, please, please, please. That helps me to put food on the table for my family. Also the Rocky Mountain ATV links and the Motorsport links. If you bookmark, bookmark those in your browser, then you click on that and it takes you right to Rocky Mountain ATV. And any purchases you make help give me a little bit of a referral bonus to keep these videos going and to keep food on the table for me and my family. So that's it guys. I'm excited for this, uh, this cover to use it. And I would love to know what you guys think about it down in the comments. So leave a comment down there, leave a thumbs up and we'll see you in the next video.